Uh, if you are looking at energy purchases from Russia, I would suggest that your attention should be focused on Europe. Uh, thank you for the advice and suggestions in your question. Our total purchases for the month would be less than what Europe does in an afternoon. And finally, for the ministers, Jai Shankar and Singh, why not condemn Russia's invasion? Wouldn't this best reflect India's foreign policy goals and international standing? And what is the leverage that the Indian government has to persuade Vladimir Putin that the carnage that we are seeing every day simply must not stop, that it's not helping the Ukrainian people, and that it's not helping the Russian people? So, uh, first of all, uh, thank you for the advice and suggestions in your question. Uh, I prefer to do it my way and articulate it my way. As Secretary Blinken has pointed out, we have made uh, a number of statements which outline our position uh, in the UN, in our parliament, and in other forums. And briefly, uh, what those positions state is that we are against the conflict, we are for dialogue and diplomacy. Uh, we are for uh, urgent cessation of violence. Uh, and we are prepared to contribute in whatever way to these objectives. Uh, I noticed you refer to oil purchases. Uh, if you are looking at energy purchases from Russia, I would suggest that your attention should be focused on Europe, which probably uh, we do buy some uh, uh, energy, which is necessary for our energy security. But I suspect, looking at the figures, probably uh, our total purchases for the month would be less than what Europe does in an afternoon. So you might want to think about it. Indian uh, Foreign Minister Jashenkar, uh, Russia has more and more aligned with China diplomatically, economically, and militarily. How much are you concerned about their alignment in terms of India's national security? With that concern, do you think India has to reduce reliance on Russia economically and militarily as soon as possible? Thank you. Well, this seems to be my day to get a lot of advice and suggestions from the press, so thank you for joining that. But uh, look, we, we watch what's happening in the world like any country does, and we draw our conclusions and make our assessments. And believe me, we have a decent sense of what is in our interest and know how to protect it and advance it. So, uh, so I, I think uh, part of what has changed is we have more options than we did before. Uh, uh, I will look at us today, we are standing here for a two plus two. With a, with a substantial defense collaboration uh, which has happened in the last uh, decade, uh, which we have been discussing how to take forward. And this wasn't an option which was there for 40 years before that. So the world is changing, the world will keep changing. Uh, every country looks at its best options. And I think today uh, an expanding India-US energy relationship, which by the way didn't exist uh, some years ago, uh, if my uh, memory is right, you are the second largest LNG supplier to India, I think the fourth or the fifth largest crude oil supplier. So we have, you know, there is so much more going on in the world today, and a large part of it is really to fully explore the opportunities between India and the United States.